Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Pink Diamond, Jeff Teague. And uh, Jeff Teague did not have like an insane NBA career, but he had a very, very solid NBA career. Was a, I think he was a one-time All-Star, wasn't he? That one year with the Hawks when they won 60 games and four Hawks made the All-Star team. Uh, I feel like he was one of the four, I'm pretty sure, because Namari Herrera was the fifth and he didn't make it in that starting lineup. So I think it was Teague, Corver, Paul Millsap, and Al Horford all made the All-Star game that year, if I remember correctly. And uh, so shout out to Jeff Teague, one-time All-Star, very funny podcaster as well. That dude is hilarious. Um, if y'all have seen Jeff Teague's podcast or even like clips of it on TikTok or anything, that dude is hilarious. So go check him out on that type of stuff. But um, I'm a big fan of Jeff Teague, mainly for that reason, to be honest. And that gives me enough incentive to make this gameplay on Jeff Teague, just to see how good he is. Looks like a good overall fun point guard to use. So before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. And without further ado, let's hop right into it. Jeff Teague is 6'3 with uh, 99 offense, 90, sorry, 98 offense, 90 nine defense 97 driving layup 93 mid-range 93 ball 95 free throw 90 driving dunk 94 ball handle 85 block 87 interior 94 steel 93 perimeter 98 speed steel ball and excel 97 vert 84 strength and 95 lateral quickness 97 stamina not sure if jeff teague was enough of a slasher to really warrant a 90 driving dunk but i'm not going to complain because that does help him out how fast twitch posterizer wow off posterizer as well handles for days anchor clamps glove precision dunker blow by speed booster touch passer fast feet right stick gripper and 94 feet i like that he's got handles for days blow by and speed booster that's big and additional bunch of defense i like that as well gold badge wise he's got limitless range agent three bailout unpluckable challenger uh i think i saw interceptor up there bulldozer triple strike good amount of badges honestly not bad now no move one forcer he's six three um rise up blinders brick wall aren't on the card could add all three of those as well as physical handles uh open looks that type of stuff wouldn't hurt no movable enforcer hurts as well so yes he could use a few badges and yes uh, no movable enforcer does kind of hurt the card but he's athletic he's a good defender especially on the perimeter and player Ooh, player builds nice wow he does he looks bigger than 6'3 i'll tell you that oh his escape is really pretty garbage though i'm not gonna lie his escape is super duper slow so bad escape is not a good sign uh between the legs burst is fine but i definitely would like a better escape same side has he's good behind the back isn't great honestly this card's a lot like gerald wallace but uh at point guard and with a bad escape as well now no behind the back no escape does kind of limit his shot creation abilities to literally only a between the legs burst or a same side burst or let's see what his push cross is uh pro dribble style so pro dribble style push cross could be used as well now he can get to the rim he's got those three moves so you can do some stuff with him as a playmaker for sure he's got off handles for day speed booster all that type of stuff now the main question is the release and honestly it's not super fast but it's not bad I don't know. It's at the point guard position. You're not going to be. I don't think you're really going to be three hunting a ton with this card. Like, I don't think he's really that elite of a three hunter or anything like that. And he doesn't have unbelievable badges or anything. But I don't. Uh, it's not bad. I think he's got normal fade. Like, not horrible animations all the way around. Just not amazing animations. At this point in the year, at 6'3 at point guard, you would need amazing animations to really compete at the highest level. It's kind of like that Steve Francis I did gameplay with earlier today. Same type of thing. Does not have a great, uh, elite shot release nor elite sigs. And like that kind of automatically holds you back from being elite overall at the position. Um, overall, though, I do think regardless, Jeff Teague is going to be fun to use. And I'm excited to use him mainly because of his podcast anyway. So regardless, we're going to give him the best shot we can. We'll see what he can do. Let's hop into a game. Let's see what Jeff Teague can do our opponent is two-way tyus and he has a celtics lineup he's definitely trying to do uh celtics rebounds for that agenda which honestly i don't really blame him um i think that's probably relatively smart but at the same time i am here to do my gameplay so we're gonna see what we can do with jeff teague uh, hoping this dude will at least play defense um is what i'm hoping if he's one of those like i hope he's not one of those people who's just expecting me to give him everything which he doesn't look like he is so that's fine honestly uh as long i'm fine with him getting his rebounds or whatever passively as long as he wants to play the game um that's that's cool with me honestly i'd be fine with sh with helping him with his agendas or whatever but i just obviously am not really working on that right now trying to get this gameplay done and let's swing it over Jeff Teague stock on the break pop on the break good start to this game five quick points on a stick dunk and then a three ball very very nice for Jeff Teague to start us off run back here wall up here that's an interesting shot let's get the board and a very very nice um he's got to get stops to get boards I'm not gonna lie and the way he's playing defense right now isn't gonna get him many of those that was a terrible shot but he had to jump from pretty far away for Dino so um wasn't a great shot, but it drops a foul, and we're going to go to the free throw line. Automatic at the free throw line. You see 99% right there on that first one. Super smooth free throw release. Second one is also up at 99%. Hits both. Easy peasy. He's got a 7. We've got a 7 to nothing lead so far. So, very, very good start to this game. Now, under the screen, 
um, against Jason Kidd. Just a little bit under the screen. Or, I guess, over the screen. There we go. That works, too. Stay in front. Very good. Wall up. Good defense. Jordan Walsh um, was open, but he doesn't hit the pass out there. And it is still his ball, but he is... He's looking real caged on offense right now. Um... He's still got to focus on playing the game, even with um, even trying to get these rebounds. You definitely just still got to focus on trying to play the game and get buckets and stuff. He misses that one, but we do foul, and he's finally going to get an opportunity to get on the board. First free throw is up and good, and he's done it. A minute into the game, he has scored. Second free throw is up, and it didn't last long. We'll take it. Second free throw is a miss. Throwing it over to Teague. Teague catches, drives this way behind the back. I wish your stigs were better, but it will live with it. Stop, pop, Jeff Teague for three. Ooh, nice quick stop. Good move. I'm surprised that we got that off i just i had more space than i expected so i stopped and shot it i shot a quick stop off of that that was like a last second decision too i wasn't really looking for that when i went into that dribble move and then it was just open and i was like okay i think i can quick stop this and i did very very nice timing on that good shot and we will take it that's a, that's a pretty skillful move pretty skillful shot uh, i don't think jeff teague again still i don't love the release but that's not bad at all uh wall up here on the interior on robert Parrish. very good defense good d that's a great block akima lajuan is just playing d we are up 10 to 1 destroying him low key right now vc at the free throw line slow free throw but it does go down and we have an 11 to 1 lead all of the points except for that one right there by vince um by jeff teague so far and uh, we're kind of dominating honestly i'm gonna dot this corner watch this watch this watch this watch this boop gotcha Oh, I didn't get the shot off, though. I knew I was going to throw. I threw that, like, maybe a split second late. I think I could have thrown that a step earlier, and I maybe get that off over, over Tatum. Not able to contest in time, um, but that's my bad. Thought I could do it, get away with it. I couldn't quite get away with it, but I tried to dot him, and I respect it. Good defense while at the inside here. I don't know what this dude's actual strategy really is, honestly. I'm, I'm like, really, really kind of wondering what we're doing here. Misses that shot as well. We run the floor. Uh, push the ball up the court. Hit the corner. Catch. Jeff. Please just give him a better same side, a better behind the back so I can actually run some stuff. That could easily have been a foul, but that was not a good shot off of that normal fade unless I had drawn a foul, which I did draw a foul earlier, but that one I did not um, stay low on Robert Parrish. He's not a shooter. Just stay in front of him. Good stuff. Step up here. Play through the screen a little bit. Get back. Oh, he's going to get to the rim and he's going to get a layup with Tatum. That's a good spin move and a good layup. Good bucket for sure. Uh, but it does look like what 11 to 3 so far uh two minutes and we're, i mean we're gonna pretty i think it looks like we're gonna pretty comfortably win this game to be honest let's hop step through jk can we finish over jk no we cannot wow look at jason kidd i know he plays defense but dang can we get out of the paint though oh my i'm trying to run out of the paint and it keeps just standing still it runs into jordan walsh we're trying to leave the paint we're like uh -huh. i don't know not able to get out of the paint at all there. I'm not trying to score with Akeem. I could have gone back up and probably scored. I'm trying to get out of the paint, get the ball to Jeff Teague, and run on offense. Uh, this card's not great. He's 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 a worse version of that Steve Francis low-key. It's kind of what he feels like. Because release is also not very good. His escape is bad. Um, he doesn't have the Kyrie dribble style the way that Francis does, which is kind of a little bit of a cheat coach shot creation-wise. Um, and then also just, I, I don't know. None of his animations are good enough for him to really justify a spot on anybody's team, I don't think. Um, I don't even, I don't like his animations. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm not a fan of his animations at all. We'll take the assist there, but I don't like his release that much. And I also don't think he dribbles all that well. I just, none of his animations I'm particularly a big fan of. Misses that as well. Loki, I just, this dude has got no rebounds this game. I don't think, um, behind the back here between the legs, burst, stop, pop, Jeff Teague for three. Ah, uh, misses that. And he finally got a Celtics rebound. Congratulations. That was apparently a heavy. Uh, I didn't realize that, but apparently it was. Board, good. Run the floor. This game's over at this point. Um, but can we get one more bucket with Jeff T? Get inside. Can he standing? Okay, we'll take the layup. That works. I don't like this card that much. I'm not going to lie. He feels like he feels like that Steve Francis, but, but like, I mean, I understand defensively he's not bad, but he's not an interior defender, and he's not... I don't know. His animations are slow. His release is slow. His escape is slow. He doesn't have an elite dribble style. He's like kind of just a guy and not a great one, unfortunately. I guess that's not that surprising, but I guess, I don't know. I, for, for whatever reason, I kind of thought, I kind of allowed myself to hope that he was going to be a little bit better. Uh, but unfortunately, that doesn't just, that just doesn't really look to be the case. Even though we're going to score a lot of points in this game, looks like we got 14 points after this free throw, probably. Um, that just, it's not enough at this point. I'm not that impressed by the card. 14 point, one assist. Four of five, four of eight, two of five from three. Not bad, but like not great at all. Just not exceedingly impressed by his animations whatsoever. Against a good player, I don't think he has half the success that he's had in this game. So hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.